It's funny, when you asked what was my failure, uh, the one that, that was the most difficult to get over really was my ac athletic <laughs> one. So I played field hockey here and, and was on the varsity team. Didn't play as much as I would have liked uh, because truth be known, I wasn't that talented. Having said that, it's taken me a long time to admit, um, but it's true. What I realized was that, um, and I realized at the time, and it's important about knowing your role. So in different times and different places, you either will carry the water or you'll be the star. And what's important is to do each one of those jobs very well. And so I knew what my role was, and it was to make the kids that were Olympians better. And so I did, and I worked hard, and I made sure that every practice, those kids didn't dog it, because they couldn't be shown up by someone who wasn't as good. And so I think that was a lesson that the ath ath athletics taught me. And then I, I founded the um, women's lacrosse program here, co-founded it. So, and that was a sport I, I actually could play better. <laughs> so, um, and that where I was a little bit more a leader there, I had to learn how to lead in other ways in a sport that I was not as gifted at. So I think that, I, I think that's one thing I'd recommend everyone to do. And, and going back to your question again, is leadership also is having persuasive uh, oral and written skills, being able to communicate your ideas. And I wish, one of the things I wish I would have done is written for the Stanford Daily or blog or, you know, I was writing for a newspaper then, that's so 20th century. <laughs> uh, but it, just to start writing, write, you know, just get it published, get it written, do blog, because that really will, will be something that will uh, serve you well.